Draw a scatter plot comparing the weight of a car, x, with a miles per gallon, y. So what we have to look at first is how do we know what's going to be our x and y in general. Generally speaking, x is what we'll call our independent variable. It's what we're inputting. Whereas the y is our dependent variable because that's what we're trying to predict. We're trying to see if the weight of a car has a positive relationship on miles per gallon, a negative relationship, or no, possibly no relationship at all. So if we were to switch the x and y in this example, it would be as though we were trying to predict the weight of a car based on the miles per gallon. I mean, you can weigh a car. You don't need to know how many miles per gallon it's going you know, to, in order to weigh it or to, or to know what the weight is. So I'm going to put that on our x-axis. And on the y-axis, I'm going to get miles per gallon. And this is actually from a data set. I think this is actually, high, yeah, it's highway miles per gallon. Um, the data set was given highway and city, so I just chose highway, thinking that, that might be a better predictor or a better indicator. So let's put the scale on the weight axis, no pun intended. We have about 2,500 to 3,600, roughly, a little over 3,600. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just kind of insert a little squiggle here. And what that means is that without that, without this, this line here, without this um, squiggly line here, this is kind of implying that the graph has been scrunched up a little bit. Because we don't really, we could start, say, at zero, but why? The lowest weight is about 2,500. If I, if I went from 0 to 3,600 like this, all of our weights would be, you know, in this tiny column here. That, there would be no point to that. So the way we usually... And, and, but then again, you can't just, you know, have a variable scale on the axis. So the way we get around that... The way we get around that is by starting here with 2,500, and let's see, I'll go to make this 3,000, 3,500, and of course make these by hundreds. Not quite even scale, but there we go. And miles per gallon, and again, I'll, I'll, I'll do the same thing for the y-axis. It's not as necessary here, but let's see. The lowest is, well, let's just start at 20. And the highest is 40. And so there's 30. And we'll go by twos. Okay, now we're ready to start plotting our data. Okay, so I'm going to take these... 10 data points and you know it's hard, kind of hard to be hard to be really accurate uh, we don't have a, a grid here and the scale is only approximate but we start with 25 60 and 34 so we're going to plot it as though as any other xy point so 2600 and 34 those are going by twos 2740 so 27 roughly in here that's going to be 36, 3610, so there's 3600, 3610 is just a little above that, kind of eyeball it here, 28, 3225, so there's 31, 32, yeah, this will be a little bit approximate there, okay, 2895, just about 2900 for all intents and purposes, and it's going to be 33. 2615, a little over 2500, so that's going to be 35, that's going to be right about, just above that first point there, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we got four more to go, 3110, and 26, 3320, 
and that's 28. 32, 15, 31, and 35, 55, so 3,500, well, we didn't need to go all the way up to 4,000 here, I guess, but anyway, 3,500, this is 3,600, so it's going to be roughly in the middle here, and that's going to be 26. So we take a look at our scatter plot. And the idea is, is there a relationship? And there are certainly statistical tests we can run to measure that relationship. I won't get into that here. But if we just kind of eyeball a least squares regression line, let's just say, uh, just kind of guessing a little bit here, it looks like there is an inverse relationship. So there is a relationship just because the graph is going downward doesn't mean there's not a relationship. There, it, there does appear to be somewhat linear relationship. Uh, we do have an outlier over here. And but all the others seem to fall roughly along that line. And so we might conclude what we probably think already in that a higher, a heavier car is going to get fewer miles per gallon. Uh, there are tests such as correlation coefficient and linear regression, which we can use to measure this a little bit more numerically. But that is the base, those are the basics of making a scatter plot.